Let's talk about setting up classroom libraries. I stopped organizing my classroom library with all of these bins with that had labels on it that told you like what all the books in the bin were. So for example, as a second grade teacher, I had all these colorful book bins. I spent all this money buying these bins for my classroom library. And like all my dinosaur books went in a bin and I get all these colorful labels, dinosaur books. And then I have another bin that was about, I don't know, cats. I'm just using an example. And then I have all cat books. This was so time consuming and expensive. When I moved from second grade to fourth grade, I was really thinking about all of the work I have to do for setting up my classroom for back to school. How can I decrease that? So I looked at my classroom library and thought, I am not spending all the, these hours sorting through my books to create stacks and categories and buying all the bins and buying all the labels, cutting all the labels, laminating, putting it all in my classroom library. So I came up with this system. I'm going to use this book as an example and see if I can. Okay, I started adding little labels like this. Miss Marshall's book. Our school uses accelerated reader. So that's what AR stands for. And I would have the accelerated reader reading level, how many points the book was, and then the quiz number, the AR quiz number. Okay, let me talk about why I started doing this. Um, number one, it did save so much time for me as a teacher because I created a classroom job chart and two of the jobs would be librarians. I would have a librarian recorder and I would buy these address labels, which were so much cheaper, these Avery labels, especially when you use like a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby or um, an Office Max, Office Depot coupon because I love couponing. And then I would buy these in bulk. And as a part of the procedures, back to school procedures, I would train my students on how to do their classroom jobs. So one job was for students to use our desktop computers in the classroom and they would research and look up all of this information. I taught them how to do it. They would add the labels to the books during like, if early finishers or sometimes when my students will come in the classroom first thing in the morning I trained them to come in and if you had a classroom job that was applicable for early morning time then you could work on your classroom job instead of sitting down to do your morning work and I know it seems like I might be jumping around but I never graded our morning work anyway that was just what they started working on during our morning routine because I liked being at the door giving students who were trickling in give them a hug how are you good morning so the librarians they could unpack all of their things for the day and then sit at the desktop computer and do a couple of these for the books students loved them the second reason why this worked better for me than having those classroom labels and classroom bins is because when my students would go to our school library, this is the information that pulled up in our school's card catalog system. The school librarian also did not have book bins for older students. She only allowed that for kindergarten and first grade students, which I so appreciate because that's how public libraries are. When you go to a, a library or a bookstore, um, you're gonna have to learn how to search for the book on the shelf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just grab a couple of books that I happen to have near me. And, this, and kids have to learn how to search for a book like this, not, okay, let me go to the dinosaur bin and grab a book. And because our school pushed Accelerated Reader so much, I just, it just made sense for me to add that to my labels. But because these are Avery labels, you can type whatever you want. If you are thinking about doing something like this, if you don't feel like you can trust your students to research, type and add the labels, which 
Let me just say, I am the procedures queen. I think kids can be taught to do anything in the classroom. But if you feel like, nah, I don't really tr trust my students to do that, then during your Netflix and chill time <laughs> or during your prep time as a teacher, if you have a teacher assistant or a volunteer, a room mom or dad, whatever, then you go ahead and type and print out all the labels and just leave them in a tray. Let me pull this tray to show you an example. It just happened to be near me. This is a tray I got from the Dollar Tree. Cute little gold wire basket. I call it a tray, but it's like a little basket. I would have something like this in my library area in the classroom with all of my printed labels, all the information already added. And then I would assign students the classroom job of adding the labels to the books because come on, they can at least do that much. <laughs> I am a firm believer as a teacher in helping kids have autonomy, independence, allowing them to be owners in the classroom. So this library system in the classroom just works so much better for me than going through all that work, sorting through the books, categorizing them, separating them, adding all these colorful, expensive book bins. Like they look so gorgeous on Pinterest and on Instagram. And I look at them like, ooh, her classroom library is so pretty. <laughs> But the goal for me was to raise readers in the classroom and to teach them how to be independent. Um, so I just made sure all of the books on my classroom library shelf were upright, organized, that everything looked nice. And then I just started to veer away from putting them in bins and all that labeling. So hopefully that quick tip about classroom library books is something you can use in the classroom this year. What are your thoughts on all this? Do you feel pressure to have the most perfect, Pinterest-worthy looking classroom library? Or do you feel like maybe that's a little overrated and it doesn't serve the students as well? Should teachers have classroom libraries that are more like real libraries? What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know with my Avery book label system and training students to set that up, could you ever use something like that based on the grade level that you teach? I hope to catch you in my next teacher tips video, my friend. Be sure to subscribe and like this video for more. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today.